Hello everyone, this is Farul Sareen and today we are going to talk about that what is the concept of whistleblowing policy of India. I would like to start by quoting a statement that blind belief in the authority is the greatest enemy of the truth. Now, if you talk about the term whistleblowing in a general layman language, whistleblowing is a term used when a person passes on information and it can be related to any wrongdoing, corruption or fraud to the higher government officials or the police personals or the any other person who relates to the organization. Now, if we talk about the term whistleblower, whistleblower is a person who usually passes on information related to any wrongdoing any and any unethical conduct to the organization, to the HR manager or to the CEO and a, and a whistleblower can be any person, you know, and it can be a government agency, it can be a, you know, higher government officials, any employee of the organization as well. So basically, there are two types of whistleblowers. Firstly, the internal whistleblowers. Internal whistleblowers are those persons who usually pass on information to the you know internal management of the organization and it can be HR manager, it can be CEO of the company. And on the other hand, if we talk about the external whistleblowers, external whistleblowers are those persons who passes on information related to unethical conduct, wrongdoing, or any other such thing to the higher government officials and it can be media too. So yeah, that's all about the types of whistleblowers. Also, there has been a provision in Stock Exchange Board of India through the listing agreements. Jo clause 49 hai listing agreements, so basically ye hai ki there must be a mechanism, there must be a proper code of conduct so that jo employees have any concerns and any kind of suspected fraud or any unethical behavior which relates to the code of conduct of the organization, who up they raise kar sakte. Also, it is not mandatory for the company to have a whistle blowing policies, but it is mandatory for the companies to, you know, disclose its board reports related to the corporate governance. Even there are so many notable cases which, you know, have fraud and which includes corruption as well. And one of them is of CEO Chanda Kochan, a shareholder activist, Mr. Arun Kumar Gupta exposed a alleged loan fraud and a quid pro quo between a bank's then CEO Ms. Chanda Kochar and her family and the Vidocon group. Another most notable scam was of Harshit Mehta scam and it was the kingpin of the 1990s security scam. Also, the Harshit Mehta scam rattled the nation and you know it rocked the market and there were so many reforms which were you know came into existence after the Harshit Mehta scam in the stock market. Now if you come to the whistleblowing policy or if there is any kind of act or bill is there, yes, there was a bill which was passed by Rajya Sabha in 2014 but was not notified. Later on it got renamed as the Whistleblowing Protection Act 2014 as it receives the president, presidential assent. But the if you talk about you know the present status of the bill it is not yet notified the main purpose of the code or you or you know that this particular bill was to establish a mechanism was to establish a you know proper structure so that employees can raise their concerns and can report the unethical conduct or any sort of you know fraud corruption to the organizations that's all about the whistleblowing policy in india i hope you had a great insights don't forget to subscribe the channel. Happy learning.